you can always calculate the shunt across the defect in echo by qp by qs that is qp is the radius of the rot square into vti across the rot by radius of the luot square by vti of the luot which can be usually calculated as here you can see that this is the luot and luot diameter you can calculate and square it and then if you can you can get the uh, pulse or continuous doppler across the luot and you can get the gradient across that one and this the tracer will get you the vti across the systemic vti that is aortic vti and uh, the square of this one along with the multiplication with this one will cause give you the qs that is systemic then you can also calculate the qp similarly qp is when you get in the short axis in the aortic view you will get a pulmonary artery opening view and in that you can get the diameter and then you square it and then you can get the vti across the same thing the, the here you have taken, taken the pulse doppler vti is taken as the graph across the uh, area under the uh, graph so you can calculate it as the 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 graph and then the vti can calculate it this 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 ratio this uh, multiplication will give you the uh, qp so qp by qs is calculated as vti across the and diameter which will calculate as the diameter square is the cross sectional area cross sectional area into vti and this vti into cross sectional area and divided by this the qp qp by qs will calculate the uh, fraction of the shunt across the lesion and it is 1.61 in that way it means the more than 1.5 that is it is from left to right shunt okay